Hey guys, Nick here, back with the 950 challenge, and it's that time again. We're already at that time. It's been three months, it's ridiculous. It's time for the retest. The question is, am I still a fatty bumbatty, noodle arm, borderline obese, borderline diabetic office boy? We'll find out. So, what's been going on? Three months. If you saw my last video, you'll know that for the first two months, I didn't really do as much exercise as I said I would. It was not good. It was not good at all. But luckily, my gym, Crunch Fitness Australia, put on a 30-day fitness challenge for November, and I had to get involved with that. Couldn't say no. It was the most you could change yourself in the most progression in 30 days. So on the 1st of November, 2019 I looked like this and I'd actually put on about 300 grams so when I started the first fitness test I was 88.8 kgs first of November when I looked like this I was 89.1 kgs so <laughs> that's going the wrong way like I got fatter it's ridiculous I had been working out a little bit but like it didn't count like I wasn't dedicated enough so let's just get on to a recap of my old stats. And here they are, here are my old stats. As you can see, 38 years old. I haven't got any younger. I've actually got a little bit older since then, three months older. Height, 183.5 centimeters. I'm still the same height. Weight, I was 88.8 .8 kgs when I first started this challenge. My measurements, I was a portly 104 centimeters. Biceps are 35 centimeters, chest 44 oh, inches, sorry, 44 inches, that's 112 centimeters. Didn't take my cup size then, not taking it now. Get your minds out of the gutter. Thighs, ooh, uh, my thighs were 55 centimeters in the circumference. Exercises, I did, uh, what's it, push ups, planks, squats, burpees, pull ups, and a 30 minute run. So push ups did, I managed 24, plank, I held for 50 four seconds, squats 32 in a row, unweighted. Burpees, I took 58 seconds to do 15. Pull-ups in a row, I did one and a bit. And I did a 30 minute run and I managed to do 3.8 kilometers in that 30 minutes. Not good at all. Not good at all. So yeah, basically crunch fitness, put on this 30 day challenge. I couldn't say no. And what did I do in those 30 days? that was different if you saw my last video what did I do in the last 30 days to make a difference to myself well I worked harder I worked out I went to the gym I put some effort in I was dedicated so I started working my butt off going to the gym at least or working out at least oh, five or six times a week if I wasn't at the gym I was working out at home and if I was working out at home I would do a Joe Wick's hit training. So I'll put a link in the description below to some of his basic hit training you can do at home. That was really good. I was also using the Athlean X ab trainer app. I highly recommend this. It's very, very good. You'll see why later on in the results. So yeah, this is what the Athlean X app looks like. And uh, yeah, download it now. It's free, so that's good. I also did fasting, intermittent fasting. I also did a three day water fast. So I'm making a video on that right now. I'm just gonna show you what happened when I did my three day water fast. So it was nothing, no calories in for 72 hours. Yeah, <laughs> um, I ate healthy. I went and found a TDEE -E calculator. That's your total daily energy expenditure calculator. I'll put a link in the description below to the one I used. It's totally free. But you put in your age, your height, your weight, your sex, and how much activity you do. And it'll show you roughly what your total daily energy expenditure will be in calories. And then I went on to my fitness pal. Again, free to join for the basic. I highly recommend this because what I did is I found out my total daily energy expenditure and then I typed in what I'd eaten throughout the day to see how many calories I'd actually eaten. And I, was, I found out that I was eating way more calories than I realized. I've heard experts say this, that you, you only estimate that you're only eating about two thirds of the calories you're actually eating. I drink a lot of milk and it turns out that three liters of milk, which I can get through quite easily in a day, comes in over 1500 calories. So that's a whole 
couple of meals I'm drinking that I didn't realize. So all those extra calories are going in. I'm eating like three, three and a half thousand calories a day. It's ridiculous. So I use those apps. I watch what I ate. I didn't exceed a calorie intake at all throughout the 30 days. So I was in a calorie deficit every single day. Obviously for those three days I did the water fast, I was in a calorie deficit. Yeah, I tried to, tried to get enough sleep in as well and I hydrated a lot. You know, I, I made sure I was drinking enough water. So those are very important things. But I guess let's just get on to the results. That's what you're here for, isn't it? The results. We'll start off with the exercises first, I think. First of all, we had push-ups in a row. Like I said before, it was 24 push-ups in a row. This time I managed 30. So it's not a massive improvement, but it is an improvement. But what's next? Plank. Now this is where the Athlean X app really comes into uh, its its comes into its own. It's brilliant. Check it out. When I started the challenge, when I did the first initial test, I managed 54 seconds. When I did the retest, I managed three minutes and four seconds. That is crazy. That's two minutes and ten seconds longer than I could well, the 1st of November and the 1st of September when I did the initial test. So again, highly recommend that app. Moving on to the unweighted squats, I couldn't do weighted squats. I really wanted to do weighted squats throughout this challenge because they're one of the best exercises you can do. But I broke my ankle at the beginning of February and I can run on it fine, but doing squats, it doesn't bend forward. It feels like it's gonna snap. So I didn't want to put weight on my shoulders I didn't want to bust my ankle. If you bust your ankle, you can't do any exercise. So yeah, anyway, I did 50 unweighted squats. So I'm up 18, which is good. I've made an improvement, um, but not quite the improvement that I wanted to make. Moving on to burpees, timed burpees, 15 burpees. How long does it take me to do 15 burpees to start with? Um, was 58 seconds at the beginning of September. This time, is down to 39 seconds so not as fast as I'd like it to be but it's an improvement 19 second improvement we're on the right track moving on to pull-ups in a row I didn't do these at the gym probably because I shut them out my brain because pull-ups are just no one likes doing pull-ups the lap pull down machines fine but I just just haven't I don't know whether it's these long arms that makes it hard to do pull-ups look at these spaghetti arms they're just so long. Um, I've got a lot further to travel than most people with these crazy long orangutan arms. But anyway, getting rid of, stop the excuses, Nick. I managed 10 and I didn't do any kipping. I did some weird, the, the, the form isn't great in these, but uh, at least I'm not like, you know, CrossFit kipping. Oh, ridiculous, what is that? Anyway, not even proper technique. So, right, I managed 10, that's good. So, uh, I mean, it's an improvement. It's 10 times better than it was before, but still not where I want to be. Moving on, lastly, lastly, last of all the exercises was the 30 minute run. Now I managed what, 3.8 kilometers to start with at the start of September. Three months later, 30 minutes, how did I do? 6.47 kilometers that's pretty good I'm, I'm quite happy with that I managed 6.47 kilometers in 30 minutes but what I was really impressed with myself is I reached the 30 minutes I did 6.47 kilometers and then I was like I can still go I've still got some energy here so I ran to 40 minutes and I managed 8.25 kilometers in 40 minutes so I'm quite happy with that I think that's a pretty good improvement whereas like in 30 minutes, you know, when I first started, I managed 3.8 kilometers, nearly had a heart attack, couldn't run another step, and was out of breath for the next 15 minutes. I ran the 40 minutes here, was felt absolutely fine, and then literally went straight on to do the rest of the exercises um, for this test. So yeah, I'm very, very happy with the progress there. My weight, it fluctuated. I'm not sure if I just mentioned this, but yeah, it went up to 89.1 kgs at the 1st of November, so I got heavier. Then at the end of this test, I'm back down to 86.6 kg. So I'm moving down 
Uh, weight doesn't really have a massive bearing because if I'm putting on more muscle mass, muscle is more dense than fat. So, you know, depending on how much muscle I put on, it's not really gonna fluctuate that much, but it's gone down two and a half uh, kgs. Or, well, 2.2 kgs since the beginning of the test, two and a half kgs since the, um, the beginning of November. So trending well. On to the measurements. Oh man, I can't believe it. Uh, my belly measurements, I was 104 when I started this. Look at, uh, here's a photo again of what I look like. It's really bad, isn't it? Okay, so the question is, this is me at the beginning of November. The question is, what do I look like at the end of the 30 day fitness test and the end of my three month test period? What did I look like on the 1st of December? Well, technically the 30th of, not technically, actually the 30th of November when I took this photo, this is what I look like. So not too bad before and after. I think that's a bit of an improvement, wouldn't you say? I'm very happy with the progress and I'm gonna keep going. But the measurements, what are the measurements? Uh, belly, waist, waist it's not really a waist waist hasn't changed it's my belly my belly measurements i was 104 centimeters 41 inches i got down to 93 centimeters so i lost 11 centimeters around my belly which i think is brilliant and most of that was lost in those 30 days in fact all of that was lost in those 30 days the rest of the measurements don't actually change that much i'm quite surprised my biceps remained the same at 35 centimeters my chest, uh, what was it, um, 112 centimetres, got bigger by only three centimetres. I can definitely feel there's way more muscle here, and I've got more muscle in my lats, but maybe I had a lot of fat here before, I don't really know. So I think I, I definitely have lost body fat from my size, I can feel it. So I think basically the fat's gone and the muscle replaced it, and I only got three centimetres, so just over an inch bigger. Uh, around my chest. Thighs remained exactly the same. But again, I couldn't do weighted squats and running isn't really gonna make my thighs any bigger. I was rowing on the rowing machine, but not as much I was, as I was running. So I remained the same. And that's about it. I think that's it, that's where we are. Oh yeah, so uh, the health and fitness report, am I still borderline diabetic? What's my heart age, etc. Basically, unfortunately, the pharmacy where I took this initial test closed down. <laughs> so the machine's gone, the pharmacy's gone. I was hoping they were gonna reopen. There was a sign saying they were gonna reopen at the end of October. They haven't reopened and I don't know when they are going to. And the closest machine is over an hour away. However, I have been using a Fitbit and I have noticed that my resting heart rate has reduced. And sometimes when I'm just relaxing, I can see my heart rate is down to about 48 or 49 beats per minute which is pretty good. I think it was up around 60, 61 or 60, 59, around that kind of area when I started the challenge. So that is uh, yeah, it's a lot, lot better. And there we go, guys. Um, again, this is what I used to look like. This is what I look like now. Am I gonna keep training? Yes, I'm gonna keep training. I still have a long way to go until I look like I used to. Um, back when I worked on a farm. I still want to get a six pack back. Um, I want to get fitter, I want to get stronger, I want to up my pull-ups and hopefully do a muscle up. So yeah, gonna keep going with that. There we go guys, what do you think? How do you think I did? Please leave a comment below, let me know. Do you think I did well? Do you, is there anything that you could advise me that you would have done differently to what I did? Like any sort of training things? I was basically hitting the free weights, I was doing Joe Wicks, have you checked out Joe Wicks? Check him out. Have you downloaded the Athlete X app? If not, definitely do it. And uh, yeah, there we go, guys. That's it. Like this video, please. Like it if you enjoyed or like the amount of effort I put in and the change that I managed to achieve. And hit that subscribe button to follow along with my 950 challenge. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Peace.